my name is Stephanie Ovandura, and I'm the manager of program development at ASCHE. And today I'm with Gavin Tower, uh, Vice President and Chief Technology Officer at Honeywell Performance Materials Technologies. Gavin has been with Honeywell and Utica for over 20 years, and he was the keynote speaker at our Wednesday luncheon here at the 2019 ASCHE Spring Meeting and 15th Global Commerce and Processing Meeting. Um, where he spoke on the topic of integrated safety management, taking safety performance to the next level. Welcome, Dr. Tower, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, and so to start off the questions, your talk mentioned taking safety to the next level. Looking back, what would you identify as some of the notable steps or levels in process safety that have brought us to where we are today? So I think um, across the whole of the chemical industry, there's been a huge focus on process safety, and ASEG through the CCPS has played a key role in that. And there's been a lot of work to establish really great techniques for designing safety and for making sure that facilities think through safety issues when they're being built and when they're being commissioned and started up. So things like HAZOP, resin protection analysis, bow tie analysis are all great tools that help uh, chemical engineers to assess what the major hazards are and then make sure that they're designing systems that will um, prevent those hazards or mitigate the hazards. So how can we improve process safety and get even better safety performance? Well, the, th the thing is that the methods that I just talked about are all assuming a steady state, and a lot of them happen during the design phase. So when you're first designing a plant or building it, you can do that, and that satisfies you that you've come up with a safe design. But once you actually get the plant up and running, you don't know what's going to happen next, because there may be human errors, there may be equipment that might degrade over time due to corrosion, or improper maintenance. Um, very often on sites, you have to deal with people who are coming there who um, maybe haven't had as much training as they should have, or they're not familiar with the site, and maybe it's a procedure that only gets done every once every five or every 10 years. So all of these things still cause accidents to happen. And we saw just uh, 10 days ago, there was a huge incident in uh, Yancheng in China where 47 people were killed um, from a process safety accident. So clearly, although we have good methodologies, it's very hard to ensure that units actually are operating safely. So we really need to take safety thinking away from just the design phase and also apply it in the operations phase. And some of the things that we've been doing in uh, Honeywell on um, connected plant and taking data from the plant control system and alarm system actually allow us to extend that into the safety system. So we can take the data from the plant and monitor it real time. So we can now do a real time hazard and so we can show the, the actual current operational safety of the plant and see how that compares to the design safety. And of course, if you're the plant manager, it's critical to know that because now you know it, maybe something has failed, maybe an instrument has failed, or maybe a valve is stuck, and maybe that's making the plant not quite as safe as you thought it was when it was designed, and you've now got to schedule some maintenance to happen sooner so you can eliminate that problem. And so this gives the plant manager a real-time view of the safety of their facility and also the safety and training of their people. That's great. Um, and so Dr. Tower, I'd like to thank you very much for sharing your perspectives on safety management with us. Are there any final takeaways that you'd like to leave the viewers with? Yeah, I'd say um, for anyone who's working in the chemical industry, you have to have safety be your number one priority. And regardless of whether you're working in a, a continuous plant, a batch plant, which, which of the process industries you're in, whether it's in pharmaceuticals, fuels, petrochemicals, we all have to deal with hazards. And I would just encourage all of the people who are watching this, all of the chemical engineers who are out there practicing, make the best use you can of the tools that are available for managing safety in your facilities. Thank you.